Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm Smart Vision. Before we know it, we're already approaching 2026. And during this time, I can confidently say that the most powerful free video generation tool that can run locally on a consumer-grade PC GPU has arrived this year. Its name is Turbo Diffusion. It supports low VRAM, is uncensored, and runs at extremely high speed, allowing you to quickly generate the content you want. In short, both quality and speed are pushed to the limit. In this episode, I'll give you a complete end-to-end -end guide, not only showing you how to run it on a regular home computer, but also helping you save time on trial and error, avoid common pitfalls, and learn several highly practical tips you definitely don't want to miss. All right, no more small talk. Let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Smart Vision. This channel brings you the latest AI technology tutorials and a wide range of practical AI knowledge. All materials and resources used in this video will be shared on my Patreon. You just need to register a Patreon account and join for free. I also prepare member-exclusive content, which includes more professional and practical tools and knowledge. Your support is always appreciated. Let's briefly explain what Turbo Diffusion is. Simply put, it is a video generation model that runs entirely on your local computer. It supports both text-to-video and image-to-video, with its standout feature being extremely fast generation speed, all while running locally. And it's free. As more LoRa's become available in the future, the creative freedom will increase significantly. You can think of it as the Z-Image Turbo of video generation. First, install Comfy UI. Search for Comfy UI on Google, enter the official page, and download the version suitable for your system. Complete the installation. Once installed, drag the workflow I provide into Comfy UI. Next, install Turbo Diffusion. Click the icon in the bottom left corner, then select Terminal. Type CD Custom Nodes. To enter the custom nodes, directory. Then, go to the project's GitHub page, copy the installation command, paste it into the Comfy UI terminal, and press Enter. I've already installed it, so I won't press Enter again here. This process rarely fails because it simply downloads files into the folder. If you do encounter issues, it's most likely due to insufficient disk space or missing write permissions. Make sure to clean up your disk or adjust permissions. Also, ensure Comfy UI is updated to the latest version, otherwise you may encounter unexpected errors. Finally, restart Comfy UI. If you run into problems you can't resolve, feel free to leave a comment under this video or on my Patreon. I'll do my best to help. After installation, you still need to download the required models. The download links can be found on GitHub. Place TurboOne 2.2 into Comfy UI, Models, Diffusion, Models, Folder. Place one 2.1 ve PTH into Comfy UI, Models, ve Place UMT5 XXL FP8 scaled safe tensors into Comfy UI, Models, Clip. I'm not sure why the GitHub page labels something as NSFW. Does that mean there's an NSFW version? Honestly, I have no idea. The download links for WAN 2.1 VE and UMT5 XXL FP8 scaled are available on my Patreon. Next, we install a 4K upscaler. Click the top left menu, choose Manage Extensions, and search for Flash VSR. This is the one I'm using, so download it. There's another option available as well, which I haven't tested yet. You're welcome to try it. Download the Flash VSR model into Comfy UI, Models, Flash VSRV 1.1. Detailed installation steps are available on my Patreon. Since Turbo Diffusion has not yet been officially integrated, you may encounter various issues due to version mismatches. First, update Comfy UI to the latest version. If you encounter errors, try the following. 1. Use 1 2.1 VPH version, not the SafeInsers version. 2. Make sure Triton is installed. On Windows, install Triton Windows. You can find instructions for installing Triton Windows on my Patreon. 3. Install the following dependencies. pip install loguru, pip install pandas, pip install pynvml, pip install inops, pip install imageo. If it still doesn't work, you can directly download my modified version, which should run properly. I've uploaded it to Patreon for free. 
I mainly added missing init files so ComfyUI can correctly locate the required libraries. Once everything is installed and running smoothly, let's compare Turbo Diffusion with Standard WAN 2.2. Here you can set the frame count, choose the resolution, and adjust the aspect ratio. For landscape videos, 16 to 9 works well. We'll keep the other settings at default. Prompt is. The girl waves at the camera. As you can see, Turbo Diffusion produces very clean results, no distortion, clear hands, and very fast generation. Total time, 91 seconds. I'm using a 4070T, running WAN 2.2 i2v with Q3 GGUF. The quality isn't full precision, but that's the reality for consumer GPUs. With the same seed and input image, using a light X2V acceleration LoRa, generation takes just over 80 seconds, but the result is noticeably worse. The image is blurry, and the hands flicker. Turbo Diffusion clearly outperforms standard WAN 2.2 inches both speed and quality. Let's push Turbo Diffusion with some more challenging tests. High speed motion and physics test. Turbo models often struggle with fast motion, producing jelly effects or broken limbs. So how does Turbo Diffusion perform with complex, high speed actions? Prompt is a cinematic wide shot of a parkour athlete jumping across neon lit rooftops in a cyberpunk city at night. We're mainly checking whether landing physics look natural, whether background buildings distort during motion. Results appear in about one minute, extremely fast. Motion is smooth, with no distortion. However, at 81 frames, the character doesn't fully land, so I increased it to 121 frames. Again, results appear in about a minute. He finally lands, and the environment is correctly rendered. There's a flying vehicle in the sky, cars moving on the ground, and the character even hesitates and jumps back, as if afraid of getting hurt. What can I say? The AI is basically telling you not to jump from that height. Physics look natural, and VRAM usage remains stable, no sudden spikes or OOM issues. Excellent. Even at 121 frames, VRAM usage stays reasonable. If you increase resolution to 720p on this setup, VRAM will be insufficient, and system RAM usage will spike. Even with 64 gigabytes of RAM, I nearly ran out of memory. Performance also becomes extremely slow. I do not recommend this. Instead, generate at 480p. Then upscale using external tools. Or, follow the official recommendation and use 81 frames. After Turbo Diffusion finishes, system RAM is not released through ComfyUI's cleanup function. If you plan to use other workflows, restart ComfyUI to avoid out of memory issues. Text rendering and fine detail test. One major strength of the WAN series is text understanding, which is challenging for turbo models. Prompt is an extreme close-up shot of a sophisticated robotic hand writing the words WAN 2.2 Turbo on a dusty blackboard. What we check is spelling and natural chalk dust particles. The result is it only writes the word turbo and the text appears before being written. Text rendering clearly needs improvement, likely limited by frame count. Now let's test non-photorealistic styles. Prompt is Van Gogh oil painting style, a wooden boat sailing on a glowing bioluminescent ocean under a swirling starry night sky. The artistic style remains consistent across frames, brush strokes do not flicker, and the result is very natural. This works surprisingly well. Finally, we test semantic understanding and spatial relationships. Prompt is interior of an ancient, sun-drenched library. What we check is cat, old man, and snow all present, and correct spatial positioning. Let's see the result. Performance is weaker here, the scene does not properly transition outdoors. This aspect still needs improvement. That concludes the stress tests. Overall, Turbo Diffusion delivers excellent quality and extremely fast speed. While long prompts and complex spatial logic still need work, it is more than capable for daily video generation tasks. How to upscale to 4K. You can use Flash VSR, the most powerful completely free local PC upscaler of 2025. 
Using my workflow, you can upscale 480p videos to 4K at a reasonable speed. Installation and usage tutorials are available on my Patreon. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. All resources are shared on my Patreon. Just register an account, it's completely free. I'm Smart Vision. See you in the next video.